Hey, yo, shalom. All praises to the Most High. Your whole, your whole, this is sound some wah wah wah. Do we really need this options? Do we really need this? How important is this when you have an adult? And what I want to talk about is that when you go to file, you got an option to say convert to. Convert to give you AAFF, capture session, MIDI file, open TL, zip file. What are these? We kind of know what they are already by the name of them, but how important are these or how convenient they are? All right, so now I'm going to explain. Starting with the zip file. The reason why I say the zip file is very convenient inside of Studio One, and it's actually a little better, is because a lot of the times when, if you don't have, if Studio One by Studio, if Studio One or Adore don't have this option, you would have to have the software that that creates zips. Some computers come with it, some computers don't. But nowadays, a lot of the modern computers, I think they come come with it built in. But before you used to have, you got to have the app and it's called the, uh, I think it's called zip or compress or something like that. I forgot what the app called where you got to compress the folders. Now, what's the purpose of this? The purpose of this is when a person say, Hey, you know, the song that, you know, I recorded with you, uh, can you send me those stems? Yeah. You can export the stems out, but you might want to go, go to another level of exporting the stems out. So let's see what zip file do. When you know, and, and they don't, well, well, before you send the stems, because if you just export regular stems out, you got to grab it in the folder. You got to put it in the folder and then you got to compress that folder. You got to let it compress and then you got to ship it off, send it off through email. But when you do it on here through the option, it does all that for you. So once you export it out, you can just ship it off. You don't got to you know do all the extra step stuff, but let's go to zip file. You go to zip file. And you go to desktop and you press save. These options pop up. The dope thing about it. So you got option where it say lossless audio file compressions. FLAC. FLAC is a good format. Read about that. Then you got an option say upload to PreSonus Spear. Right? But let's go up right quick. This will save your document and all reference media files to zip for easy transfer and backup. Right, and say the following plugins are used in this document. So they have this information, what plugins I've used or you used in your document when they receive it. So let's press OK. This is not that many files anyway. And it export pretty fast, but I'm sure to be a little slower when you're dealing with, um, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60. 70, 80, 90 tracks and something like that. You got some people go to the extreme, their stream when they're doing a lot of things, whatever. All right, so now it's done. So let's minimize this. So when you go to this got me twisted folder right here and it's, see a zip, you open it up and inside it got media files. It got all the media files of that song and it got sample. It got three of these samples, right? I'm trying to understand this, but it got three of those files as a sample, whatever. And then they got the got the the uh then they got the icon of that song. So you can open this up inside of Studio One. You know, and then they got some you know extra information that you can double click like this and then pop this up right here, the XML files and everything. So you can double click this and you know open up inside of that DAW, the specific, you know, Studio One. Cause I see the icon right here. You know, you probably could open up in other DAWs, who knows? But you got all the information and you can just send it off through email. All right, so now let's keep going. You go to file, convert to, let's go to A, 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 F files. What is this? For everybody who so hype about Pro Tools. Oh, well, I have to use Pro Tools. And it's nothing else I can use in because it's industry standard, you know, type shit. You know what I'm saying? And I've been doing this for a long time before any, when you young boys even speak on speak to me about this. Pro Tools is a good software to, to record and mix and master. Don't get it twisted. But you don't have to have Pro Tools to do anything or deal with other music or get anything done. It's all about your process and your skills and your ability and what doll you choose to use. So Studio One and other dolls have that format. And that format 
you can open up Pro Tools files inside of Studio One. You know, just that simple. Now, as far as the plugins, it might say, you know, what plugins, you, you know, you need to download to use and everything. But a lot of the times, engineers don't want to backstep and create and mix what somebody else, what, what, what somebody else worked, you know, the work that somebody else did. But what it helps is that, see, I got this song formatted, you know, the tracks and everything. I might cut something out, put a pause, different things like that. So all that type of stuff, all that type of work, when you open up in AAF from Pro Tools, you know, it'll open it up in here the same way they did it and vice versa. All right, let's keep going. Capture Session. What is Capture Session? Capture Session is basically when you export this out, this is perfect, perfect and straightforward, perfect for uh, Studio One users. Somebody hit me up, say, hey, can you see me those files? Can you see me that work, that folder? Okay, Capture Session, boom. I send it to them. They open it up. Let's see how it look. Let's go right here to capture session. Let's go to desktop. Save it. So I quickly save. It's real quick. Uh, minimize it. That's how it look it, right here. That's how the format look and everything. So let's this closes. You know, cl minimize this a little bit. So let's double click on this. When you double click on that, it pops up in the DAW like this, just like that. It pops up in the door just like that. Just like that. Uh, let me see something right quick. Hold on. Now, will it have the plugins and everything? No, I don't see none of the plugins. You know, uh, this is perfect for just to get, you know, so you can clean slate and you can mix everything in your own bag. But the levels of the, the volume levels would be the same and anything, you know. But uh, let me see. Let me go to the input input uh, folder right quick. Give me one second. I don't know where it's at. Okay, so you got three of the inputs and everything. So it's open up in any regular DAW. You know, like how they got these stuff set up. So that that's that's a great quick way of doing it instead of just exporting the stems out. You got everything already cut. Everything already the way it is. Instead of you got to cut everything and all that type of stuff, you know. So, because when you when you just export stems out, it's like a bounce type thing. All right, let's close this right quick. All right, now the next thing is convert to is MIDI file. It converted to a MIDI, and then you know that's an interesting thing. Like, because when I use that, I don't understand that when I do the MIDI file, you know it. It it when I drop it in, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't show anything. It don't it it, it doesn't even pop up MIDI. So I, I don't know if that's a bug. I don't know what's going on with that. But I don't want to talk about that. But when you go to OpenTL, they're just information, basically information. Let's see how this works right here. Let's go to OpenTL and let's go to Desktop, Save. Already resist. You know, uh, pasted the first time. Let's go minimize that. And when you go to um, track files, boom, it's text, it's text document. When you click on the text document, you see all these, you see this information. It's information of the of that music, whatever. And certain people can understand this language, man. You know, that helps whatever, you know, it need to be helped on. But yeah, the question is, are these important for you? I think it is. I think it's important for me. I think it helps a lot. I think it gets to the point where you can do this stuff inside of the DAW already instead of using other apps just to convert certain things. So that's it. Maybe something you could use in your artillery, use it and you know, uh for your workflow and dealing with people and doing business. If you got any questions, drop it down at the bottom. This is YYBY. Peace.